from the golden age of steam video, the people who brought you Dick Barton, Thumbs Up Trucks, starring William Franklin and Bob Todd. Bike Across the Rockies. With Madeline Smith and Jimmy Mulville. <laughs> and Mosey Schmosey. With Mary Cryer and Anna Dawson. Well, the soup smells delicious. May I taste it? Please, Moses. <laughs> Show off. Now presents this week's flesh creeping installment, Creature from the Black Forest Ghetto. Written by Andrew Marshall and David Rennie. Funny. Well, uh, your chest seems to be in perfect condition, Miss Zeppelin. <clears throat> I'm sorry the stethoscope wasn't a wee bit longer today. <laughs> right, that's the end of that joke. Now, uh, you can go rest again, nurse, OK? Oh, by the way, if you're passing Ward 10, uh, could you take Ian Paisley's temperature, please? I am not mad! I am not mad, I tell you, I am not mad! Of course you're not medicine can work wonders. Is this patient private or national health? National health, doctor. I see. All right, scum. <laughs> well, it seems like a hideous nightmare, but I swear every word is true. My name is Amelia Goldheart, and so am I. I work as a consultant botanist for the Doomray Scientific Research Establishment on a remote Scottish island in Islington. Well, two weeks ago today, it all began. It seemed like just another day. Yet outside, it was already there. An insidious horror waiting to take us all in its grip. Walk this way, Prime Minister. <laughs> Never thought I'd stoop so low. If I could stoop that low, I wouldn't need the talcum powder. Well, this is where we do all our top secret work. Very hush-hush. Do you take my meaning? No, of course. Well, stop taking my meaning. It's the only one I've got. I guess I'll have to count on your discretion. And after that, I'll count on my fingers. And when my fingers run out, I'll count on my feet. And when my feet run out, I'll run right after them. <laughs> well, don't blame me. It was written into Barry Cry's contract. <laughs> Animal experiments are handled by Miss Flexi Cove. And Miss Flexi Cove is handled by me. And as broads go, she certainly does. Uh, have you quite finished, can't you see? I'm waiting to be introduced to this good lady. I see you. I don't see the good lady. I am the Prime Minister, Sir Brinsley Oakhampton, OBE Bob Todd and Bar. How do you do? Oh, I wouldn't know. I'm a politician. I've written this book about breeding rabbits. How to make a fast buck. <laughs> Is it in Penguin? No, it's in English. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't get these two rabbits to breed. Well, of course not. They're both males. How disgusting. I shall cut off their carrots. <laughs> Very draconian. And here we have Mr. Godsbody, who is head of explosives. Oh, what's this? Well, I'm rather pleased with it, actually. It's the world's first totally safe hand grenade. You see, if you pull out the pin accidentally like so, it doesn't go off in your face, making it a, a lifesaver for hundreds of clumsy soldiers and a positive boom for the SAS. <laughs> it's so simple, it's almost breathtaking. Thank you, Mom. How does it blow up tanks? <laughs> Pardon? How exactly would you use it to blow up an uh, armoured column of tanks or field guns? Well, uh, yeah. um... <laughs> Iris, uh, uh, could you postpone that arms shipment from Outspan, please? <laughs> I'll come back to you on this one. Progress will get us nowhere, that's what I always say. And I wish you'd stop it. And this is Miss Amelia Goldheart. <laughs> Apple of my eye and pair of my socks. Miss Goldheart is in charge of rare plants. And why not? She's almost extinct herself. Oh, what a pleasure to meet you, Miss Goldheart. <laughs> <laughs> 
You can call me Amelia. Oh, fine. You can call me Amelia, too. Oh. <laughs> this is our flower pressing machine. Would you like to see it working? Of course not. What have you got under that? Now, I only wish I knew. A couple of days ago, I found this strange looking spore growing inside an abandoned black forest gatto on the north circular <laughs> i repotted it and brought it back what do you make of it most unusual especially for a thursday there's nothing about it in any of my books i reckon it must be some sort of fungus mm, with berries taste of whiskey chasers <laughs> it hasn't grown very much i was wondering whether to cover it with horse manure <laughs> An excellent idea. It should feel at home. Well, I can't stop. So I've heard. You haven't told us what you do around here. Well, usually I do this. <laughs> I never liked the real one much either. Said Brinsley. What picking time you call this to come home? Mother's had supper waiting hours, haven't you, Mother? Oh, and it's burnt to a crisp. <laughs> what was it? A crisp. <laughs> Do you think I'm made of money? If you are, I should change it for something smaller. Don't you realise Mother's been worried sick? Uta went ages ago. The mouth seen better days, too. <laughs> I know I'm late, so I've uh, bought you some eau de cologne as a Peace gift. Oh. <laughs> Bloody foreign muck. <laughs> Taste of armpits. How does he know? You won't get rounder, you know. Not without 80 days to spare. Now, this has gone on quite long enough. There's something I want to break to you. I'll open the window, then. <laughs> back here. I think you better brace yourselves for a shock. The fact is, I don't work in the glue factory. What? <laughs> what manner of treason is this? Nay! Oh, the shame of it. The shame. I don't know where to put my face. Tempting, isn't it? So, it's come to this. And I suppose all this time you've been sponging off state. Well, of course, I'm the Prime Minister. <laughs> oh, Prime Minister, very lardy da aren't we? Prime Minister. Well, that does it. You're no son of mine. Yes, I know that, so please leave my house. Don't you talk to your father like that. You're not even a proper woman. You're Bob Todd in a dress. So <laughs> both of you, get out before I call rent -a kill Go on, out. Discrimination. To think that a perfect stranger should throw us out of his own house. What's the use of pretending? I fell for Sir Brinsley from the moment we first met. I loved him with my heart and soul. And three other bits as well. But I was a scientist and he was a simple prime minister. So our romantic assignations had to be conducted in deadly secret. <laughs> well... Cheers then, Simon. Cheers then. <laughs> <laughs> you got a new bar stool you've got now? Yes. Bought it on Friday. Had it to bits on Saturday. Yes, yes. First thing I do when I get a new bar stool, shrib it right down, rub it around, see what makes it tick. So do I. So do I. Yeah. <laughs> and a new Alsatian you got there? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> on Friday. Had it to bits on Saturday. First thing I do when I get a new Alsatian is Strip it right down, rummage around, see what makes it tick. So do I. So do I. <laughs> Had the girlfriend to bits on Saturday. So did I. So did I. First thing I do when I get a new girlfriend is strip her right down, rummage around, see what makes her tick. So do I. So do I. Yeah. Underneath my girlfriend all weekend. So was I. <laughs> yes, I thought it was a bit cramped. <laughs> <laughs> Evening, Simon. Evening, Simon. Oh, oh, I've just had a narrow one. Really? Thought I'd never make it. Ten off from home. 
halfway here realized I hadn't topped up a gin. <laughs> Could have been stranded out there all night. That was a narrow one. Oh. And my narrow one to bits on Saturday. Give it a rest, Simon. And to Simon. <laughs> yes. yes. Excuse me, is there a Miss Amelia Goldart conducting a romantic assignation with a Prime Minister in deadly secret here at all? What is it? You're wanted back at the laboratory. It's a matter of life and death. It was eight o'clock at night. I was about to lock everything up when my chastity belt jammed. So I came up here for a monkey wrench and this! How? My God, it's enormous! <laughs> yes, and that's only its size. <laughs> It's not natural for a plant to look like that. It's not natural for anything to look like that. And it's all horrible and slimy. Look! <laughs> what was that? I don't know. It sounded like something going... <laughs> You're right. This thing gives me the creeps. Do you know what I think? I think this plant is from another planet. But there aren't any other planets on Earth. <laughs> we must stop it quick before it breathes. I'm going to chop its stalk off. <laughs> 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 